Hi guys, this is Maru. Uh, today I'm going to be making um, a full necklace. Um, you're going to need uh, white primo, uh, pearl primo, you're going to need black primo, uh, translucent primo, um, you're going to need alcohol inks, and this is the ones that I'm going to be using. This is lettuce, um, sunshine yellow, butterscotch, and terracotta. Also, you're going to need um, these texture stamps. I'm using two different ones. This one is by Lisa Pavelka and it has all the leaves. And this one, this is from Sculpey. And I have, I'm gonna use this part right here. This is like a sun and I'm thinking this is like leaves, branches. But you can use whatever texture you, you like. And I'm going to be using this metal leaf speedball metal leaf and the color is copper all right and that's pretty much it all right let's just get started hi guys i'm back now we're going to place this use this texture by lisa pavelka and we're going to place this on top of it I'll just do it like this and oh, make sure you spray this with water if not it's gonna stick to the clay all right I'm gonna use this <clears throat> to get the impression. Make sure you go in one direction. switch it and pass it through again one more time I think that's pretty good. It's always you make sure you press. Now flip this. Be very gentle because sometimes if you do it too hard, you might rip the the clay. Okay. Just dab the excess. It's not a lot of work. We're gonna cut this excess over here, and then here. Okay, now I'm going to um, use uh, check pastels. I'm going to use a brown and black. And I'm going to use it just for 
the this top raised part right here just on the top just just a little bit then I'm going to get uh, the brown and a little bit of the black I don't want it to be too dark and just use your fingers to apply it Apply very gentle. And just apply just a little bit. You don't need that much. Some areas are probably going to be more than others, but that's fine. All right, I'm going to finish applying this all over the clay, and I'll come back. All right, so I'm done applying the um, chalk pastels on top of the leaves. Now I'm going to start the ink. And it doesn't have to be in any specific order. I'm going to start with terracotta and just apply it. Any random places you like. Apply right here. I'll use this green lettuce. Just apply it right here. It doesn't have to be necessarily in the same order I'm doing it. Scotch. Let's apply it all over the place. And you can do just like three colors. I'm using four colors. I was just like aiming to like fall colors, you know. I really like this one, it's like caramel. It's really, really pretty. All right, almost done with this ink. And now I'm going to use this paintbrush and just just dab some of the excess. Fill in the gaps. And make sure we cover all the areas. And we're going to get a wet wipe and dab some of the excess. And just be very gentle. Very, very gentle. You don't want to press too much, down too much. Because I don't want to take, um, take out, take too much out of the color and then 
I just want the colors to be to pop. So I'm just going to dab a little bit, not too much. I'm gonna have to let this dry. Just put a little bit of alcohol. Just a little bit on the wet wipe and just dab it. Just a little bit, not too much. All right, I'm just gonna let this dry and I'll come back to do the next step. Okay, I'm back. So now we're gonna, now that the clay is dry, uh, we're gonna flat, flatten it a little bit. I'm gonna use this printing paper and then I'm gonna roll it just a little bit. Oh, why is it soaking up on this thing? a little bit I don't have to roll it that much all right we're gonna apply the foil I'm using this metal leaf um, copper foiled and I'm just going to apply it on the top. This stuff flies everywhere. This foil is crazy. Alright. This thing sticks to your hands, fingers, everything. I'm just gonna place it on the top very gentle. Uh. And just dab it with your fingers. Very gentle. I'm just going to cut the excess. This thing is sticking to everything. And it's sticking to my fingers. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get all this excess around it. Okay, and then we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna roll it through the pasta machine on the thicker setting. Very gentle. All right.
dry, so I just roll it through the pasta machine. Um, I'm just going to cut it here. I'm just going to get rid of this piece. We can still use it. I'm going to now apply the translucent clay and then I'm going to apply it on top of this. All right, I already conditioned the translucent clay. Uh, try to do it on the thin setting, but just do, do your best. Now I'm going to place this on top of the, this crackle. Making sure. You don't get any bubbles. I mean, it's so it's so hard to condition translucent clay for some reason. For me, it is, and I find like it's really easy. If I go from like my thickest setting and I go straight to the thinnest and then it gets it. If not, it's just I can't get it to um, condition. And my clay is kind of hard, so I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm just going to check if you see any bubbles. I'm going to just cut the excess right here. Here. Got this, and then I'm going to roll it in the through the pasta machine on the thickest setting. Let me just pick this up. All right, I'm gonna roll it through the pasta machine from this end to this end. Then roll it again on the third thickest setting. go that's pretty much I'm just gonna cut this excess right here and then you have to put um, translucent so it protects the crackle effect it protects the foil if you're planning on sanding it you have to um, it, otherwise when you sand it, it's just gonna, you will sand it off and it'll just be gone. You won't, I mean, if you're planning on sanding this piece, you have to, which I, I'm planning on doing it. All right, so there you go. This is the veneer, and this is gonna be um, one of the parts of the pendant on one side. I have to do the other. Um, the other side of the pendant, which I'm gonna use uh, per primo. And on that one, I'm going to add some copper leaf. And then I'm gonna condition it and use a different texture, uh, texture sheet. All right, guys, so now I just conditioned the pearl primo and I put um, some copper fo foiled and the metal metal leaf sorry and um, I did it because just to give it some like shine you can see the foiled on here it looks pretty cool and then now I'm going to use this stamp to get this area right here I'm gonna give this 
Um, spray this with some water. Right here. I'm just trying to see which is the best. Right here. I'm going to get my roller. Put that on the floor. Alright, so I'm just going to use this punch again. And then just start rolling it. Making sure you get all the areas. Because if not, you're not going to get the design that's going to be. But this, um, this texture, it has like, like, um, it's not like all, like the other one that I was using. It has some spaces, but it's okay, I mean. You can use anything you want. I'm just using this. Um, let's make sure you get everything. Of course, for this, you cannot use um, use this for like the mica shift because it's not deep enough. We got everything. Okay, so let's see. I'll just lift this up. Hopefully it didn't stick. Okay, perfect. It's really, really easy to work with. And it's from Sculpey. I got it at Michael's and pretty easy to use. I remember when I started doing clay. And I was like doing this and it will stick. I'm like, oh my God, I couldn't get it right. I'm so nervous. But I mean, sometimes I made mistakes, not perfect. All right, I'm just gonna dab this water, like excess water. And you can see the, the metal leaf in some areas. shot here okay so it's right here now we're gonna use the alcohol lens again I'm just gonna cut some of this excess that's right right here we're not gonna use this part and then we're just gonna do the same thing we did earlier just placing the um, the alcohol links it's just got a printing paper. It's just gonna make a mess. All right. I'm just gonna place this. And again, just gonna. And this one is not as. Um, oh, I was forgetting something. Okay, I was forgetting this chalk pastels. And this one, I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other one. Just place just a little bit around it. And just apply it all over the... Brown. All 
All right. Now we're going to apply the alcohol inks. Just do it in any any order. It doesn't have to be the green first. You can do the other ones. And just apply it everywhere. This is the butterscotch. Light a yellow, sunshine yellow. And then just do this until you finish. This one I didn't apply a lot of the terracotta. I'm gonna finish, I'll be back. Alright, so now I almost completed just putting all this ink everywhere. Now I'm going to dab a little bit of the excess with the wet wipe. It's just a little bit. It's just not as saturated with the ink. Just dab really gentle, don't do it too hard. Just gonna put a little bit of alcohol. Now we're gonna have to let this dry again and just let it dry. All right, I'm back. I have some difficult uh, technical difficulties with the camera and my cutter, so I'm gonna have to use a different cutter, anyways. This is the two veneers. Um, I did roll this. I have the black primo for the back, and I did the um, I did texture in the back. I used this sanding paper. It's um, six degrees, and I just texture the back. So I think it looks really nice right here and um, now I'm going to cut each veneer and I'm just gonna get this thing this side right here got one this one um, let's see this one right here it looks pretty cool. Let's get some of that. All right. I'm just going to cut it. All right. Get this out of the way. Now, I'm going to cut this and give it like, um, I'm not going to cut it right in the middle. Just get this over here. Because I'm going to use this um, polka dot cane, so I'm going to cut it in a like a zigzag kind of way. So I'm going to just cut, I'm going to have to put it on top of each other. Hopefully this doesn't stick. I'm just 
put this over here in my stick. All right. So just give it a All right. I'll just get it out real quick and then place it together. All right, that looks really good. Just make sure it's placed correctly. Sometimes it's Let me see. This is the other one. Now I'm gonna cut um, this polka dot cane and then I'm gonna place it in the middle. And I'll be right, right back. So I cut little pieces of this polka dot um, cane and I'm gonna place it on in the middle. Where I made that cut. Okay, so I'm done placing all this um, polka dots in the middle. Now I'm going to smooth it out. Um, make sure the sticks just grab printing paper and smooth it out in the middle. I'm not do it too hard. too hard and just go in the middle okay so I'm done placing this um, polka dots in the middle of the bead and they are ready to go in the oven um, and I'm going to put it in the oven for 275 primo recommended temperature and I'm gonna just put it for like 30 minutes and then I'll be back to do the sides after that. All right, I'm back. So here are the beads all um, baked. I baked them for 30 minutes. Now I'm um, ready to do the sides. Um, I'm gonna use a black Primo for that. And I'm just gonna add a border and then give it some texture. All right, so I decided to add another back um, of Black Primo. I just didn't like how it came out out of the oven. So I'm just gonna, I already roll it out on the second thickest setting in the pasta machine. I'm just gonna place it here this part is gonna go in the in the back like this, but I'm just doing it right now like this because I wanna see where I'm gonna cut. So I'm just gonna get my blade. 
and I'm gonna cut around it just close enough Just gonna cut a little bit more. And I'm gonna put a little bit of baking uh, liquid clay in the back of this. Just a little bit so it sticks. Stick it in the back. Sorry. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this to the sides like this so I can create a border. Just so I can create a border, and I'm gonna cut the excess. Just bring it all the way, just enough that it covers the sides, and you can cut some of the excess just a little bit. Not too much. Then I'm gonna grab this um, six six degree sanding paper and I'm going to give it texture on like this. We're just gonna get rid of the excess later and just bring it and just give it texture on the sides. And then we're gonna do that. Of course, just give it, it, give it some texture on the back as well. Um, for some reason it just, when you put it on the, put it down, it loses the texture when you touch it with your finger, so you have to do it again. And then you can just cut a little bit of the excess. Oh, uh, let's see. Just... And just, just, just give it texture all the way around. All the way around it. And just fix it with your fingers and then just grab this again and 
give it texture. Make sure you don't get clay on on this on the top. Let's just give it a lot of texture. All right, so I'm done um, texturing the back and the sides. Now I'm gonna just um, bake this for an hour at 275 Primo recommendations, and then after that I'm going to sand it and show you how to resin this. Hi, so I already sand this piece with sanding paper um, starting for 400 all the way to 3000 and I did it with water. You can do it without the water but it's better. Now I'm getting ready to resin this piece and I'm using Ultra Dome. You can find this online on Etsy. Ultradome.com, expossyjewelry.com. Stuff is great. You're gonna need a UV lamp for that. You're just gonna put it on the under the lamp for about 20 minutes, and you don't have to worry about it. So I have my toothpick. I'm gonna start on the edges first. <clears throat> so you don't need a lot. Less is the bet um, better. And just go in on the edges all the way around and then just put a little bit in the middle. Now with the toothpick, we're just gonna move it around just a little bit. Just be careful not to Drag it too much on the edges and then you're going to have some spills. And just drag it. Just be very careful. And this stuff is pretty easy. There's other ones, two-part resin that you can use. Well, you have to mix it, and there's a lot to uh, instructions on that. You gotta like stir it for like three minutes, and then let the bubbles rise to the top. So yeah, that one it's a little bit more complicated. This one you just it's already mixed. You just have to pour it and that's it pretty much and just you're gonna need a lamp UV lamp and they sell it on Amazon the one that I got there's um, some lamps that already had like a timer and you can just hit the timer for like 20 minutes and just leave and leave it in there the one that I got it was just uh, like 60 seconds and I was pretty bummed about that because I have to constantly press the button and I can't leave. And I don't really want to spend money on another lamp, so I'm pretty much stuck with that. I'll probably get one later on, but um, I just don't want to spend money on that. But there's other lamps out there that you can use and you don't have to worry about um, just leave it there and then like 20 minutes. All right, so just get all the way on the edges, and this like gonna have you're gonna have some bubbles that gonna come to the surface. You can just get a lighter, and yeah, they will pop. Find my lighter where I put it. So there's one bubble right here and then just kind of grab a lighter. This one that's pretty big. There's ones that are shorter than this. And just kind of put it on top of the bubble and then it will pop it. And that's it. Make sure you got it all covered and then I'm gonna just put this under the uh, lamp 
and then I'll come back to show when it's show you when it's done. Okay, I'm back. So I already resin um, this. They're really, really shiny. So pretty. And this is um, another one that I make. This one has like the leaves. And this one is another design. And show you this. They're really, really, really shiny. Everything is so pretty with resin. It's just really, really shiny. Now I'm going to make um, open drill this. Um, I have this, and I'm gonna put the jump ring, jump ring, and then um, get a build. So I have to center this right about I don't have a ruler so I kind of have to gauge where I'm gonna open the hole it's gonna be about right here and then you just have to Sorry, I'm in. <laughs> you just keep twisting it. Twist it, twist it. And that's it. Just put the jump ring, how the pliers. I'm using, I don't know what the size on this, but it's a big jump ring. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to find. I'm just going to place it in. to get it in because it's see. you don't want to open it too much but because I made it a little bit thick the frame is thick I'm just going to close the jump ring the snow flyers. Let's see, open it too much. Okay, so there it is. There's the bail. Then I'm going to use, you can use. I'm gonna use this cord. I bought it at Walmart. But there's different cords out there you can get. And there you are. This is it. I got this one. And then this one. I'm not gonna open the whole one on camera but you got the concept just um it's pretty easy um i hope you like my tutorial um subscribe and share my video all right thanks for watching see you next time